What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and today we are back with another Sonic the Hedgehog set review. Of course, this set is set number 76995, recommended ages 8 plus, and this is Shadow's Escape. Piece count is 196, while the price point is 19.99. This is the cheapest Sonic the Hedgehog set. We're starting wave two. This is the second wave. So this is the newest wave that came out. All the other ones came out back in 2023. This came out around January, I think. And oh my goodness, we're back, man. We're getting new Sonic figures, which, oh man, I am very happy that we're getting new Sonic figures. Of course, this set has a lot going for it. Obviously, the Speed Sphere is not in this set, which does suck. But, I mean, who cares, man? This is still a great set for Shadow. And you get an awesome bike. You get an awesome minifigure. You get this awesome thing. And it's really cool and very awesome that... Wow, I'm using awesome a lot today. Um, but this is really cool because, of course, Shadow's getting his own movie. Um, he's going to be in Sonic the Hedgehog 3, which is really cool. Um, the other two were great. Um, never did my review on them, but they're great. I did a set review on the, well, not a set review, but a minifigure review on the first Sonic movie, a custom showcase. But anyway, we're going to take a look at Shadow, his bike, the Rhino Bot, and then the container. And um, yeah, without further ado, let's get started with the minifigure, which is Shadow. You guys are going to hear me be clapping a lot in these next set reviews because, of course, they're, they're up in the ante, man. I mean, this is, this is great, okay, dude? I mean... Doesn't this not look satisfying? And look how satisfying this looks. Oh man, we have Shadow. Oh my god. Shadow, he might be my favorite, okay? I, I, I don't know. You guys gotta hear my thoughts on Knuckles and Rouge. Um, but dude, this is awesome, okay? Arm printing. There's arm printing, okay? There is legit arm look, there's arm printing, okay? This dude is just my god, Shadow. You're so cool, man. I mean, Shadow in general is awesome, but um, the arm printing is fabulous. It, I don't even use that word. It's great. The back, oh my god. I mean, just the arm printing and everything. The legs. The legs look great. I mean, um, it's great. And then the torso and just the head and the printing on all of the spikes. I mean, my God, Lego, you knocked it out of the park. The only thing, the only thing I don't like about this dude is he doesn't come with a gun. But other than that, this is like the best figure. And the fact he's not smiling is even cooler. Like, look at that. I mean, that's just... Dude, this is, this is so cool, all right? This is so cool. Oh, man, I love Shadow. Oh, come on, dude. I mean, look at this. This dude looks great. Anyway, um, his head mold, I mean, just... Just taking it off for a second. My God, dude. Oh, my God. I, I saw Lego Dimensions, man. Everyone's going to keep going back to that because this is just like a dream come true. I mean, dude, we're getting Shadow, bro. This is awesome. Anyway, oh, my God. This is just, this is this is great. I mean, Shadow is awesome. Anyway, without further ado, let's take a look at the bike. But first, I guess before we do that, we'll take a look at the little, um, the little, uh, 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 flicky that comes in this of course you get the um this one which i think is brand new for this set really cool um, of course he fits in the rhino bot which is really cool we'll take a look at that in a minute um but um i guess we'll take a look at him next because he's technically a figure so yeah let's take a look at the rhino bot next rhino bot never heard of you before but pretty cool enemy my dude anyway uh, like I just said, I don't know that much about the Rhino Bot. Um, I hear he's on a wheel, so, I mean, that would be cool if he was, but, I mean, it's, it's all right. Um, kind of strange. I mean, kind of weird inclusion. I mean, when you look at everything, I mean, this set is kind of weird. Um, I'll talk about that in a sec, but, of course, like I showed you guys before, LEGO does these cool features where you can do that, and when you knock him over or something, like if Shadow just decides to push him over, you can release the Flicky, which is really cool. Um, but I just, I love this. The build of it looks like a rhino. I mean, it looks great. Um, just the eyes, too, look awesome as well. This is just a little clip piece, so when you move it up, it kind of goes in. When you move it down, it looks great as well. And just everything about it looks awesome. I love his little boot thing at the bottom. I mean, just, it's a really nice build. I uh, love is just, it's just awesome, okay? It's a really cool build. So, yeah, now let's take a look at Shadow's motorcycle. So, here is Shadow's motorcycle. This is really cool. Everything in this set is prints. If you haven't already heard, so this is a print, this is a print, 
and these two stickers are prints and I think that is really cool I mean it's really awesome I mean it's just a it's a really cool build man I really love just the prints and everything I've seen Shadow's motorcycle so I know what it looks like it's pretty accurate um, I'll be honest it's pretty accurate um, I think the only things though I think these gray things are both supposed to hit the bottom not like this but it's okay. I mean, I don't really care. I mean, it's just, it, it's awesome. It rolls great. I mean, just look at this. It rolls awesomely. Um, I don't even know if I push this through the whole loop-de-loop. -loop. I don't think I could make it go work, though. But he has these little paint um, pieces. So, of course, you can sit Shadow down and onto his little kind of, I guess, his bike. And you can make him, of course, hold the handles. Now, um, I... Kind of not going to make him hold the handles now because it's, it's kind of difficult to make him hold them. But he can if you like. And if you don't, you can just do this. And he could be with one hand if you have a spare gun. He can be in one hand just shooting people because obviously he uses guns. Um, okay. But yeah, Shadow is the ultimate life form. I mean, he looks great. Um, I really love this. I mean, he just looks great on his bike. Uh, the wheel in the back looks good as well. Uh, these pieces can move in case you want to see what the, uh, the wheel looks like. So... Really nice, just a really nice build. I love the headlight at the front, everything. It just looks great. And you just do like really cool turns and stuff. So yeah, there is Shadow's motorcycle. Now we're gonna take a look at kind of the containment. Here's the main build for this set. This is Eggman's little containment for Shadow. This is a great build. Once again, this is a really cool build. I really love just everything it looks. Uh, the face up here for Eggman, I mean, just, they knock it out of the park. It looks exactly like him. Um, really great. Um, of course, there's a play feature if you see that on the inside, but the main thing that you can do with this is you can, of course, put Shadow on the inside, which we're going to do. That's why I didn't put my um, his handlebars on, but of course, you open it right there, and you can just put him in there like so, which is really cool. It, it takes him a while, though, to stand in there, so... There you go. Um, but still really awesome. You can fit him in there. Um, but there is actually a print in there. So we're going to take him out for just a second so you guys can see that. But way in the back, you can kind of see that. Let me shine a bit of light on it. Um, you can see that they have a little bit of shadow kind of things back there, which you could use that for Metal Sonic 2 or anybody, which looks awesome. But there is a main play feature in this set. So what you do is you probably saw it a million times because of just how flimsy it is, but um, what you do is you put Shadow on the inside of this because um, um, I'm not going to spoil anything for Sonic 1 but or Sonic 3, hope. Um, but anyway, you put him on the inside. He looks great, and then after that, what you do is uh, stuff goes wrong, I guess, and you do that, and you can hit him out. So this opens up, and the gate goes down. You take Shadow out really cool and then after that you put him on his bike after you put him on his bike his bike's just randomly sitting there all right his bike's just randomly gonna sit there and what you do is you just lean him back a little bit there you go and there you go he just he goes right through it boom he flies right through it so yeah that's kind of a play feature what it does is this just goes back so what you do is you just hold on to this and he'll just fly right past it which is really cool it's a really nice play feature as well um, this is just um, just simple just stuff right there. And um, it's a really nice build. It's a really nice little $20 build. Um, of course, the back looks great as well. Uh, of course, this is how the play feature works. This kind of holds it down. And when you get that down, that kind of goes down with it. So that's how it works. I mean, it's a really nice little $20 build. Um, I don't know if it's my favorite, though. I mean, it, it might just be my favorite because um, I'll talk about it a little bit at the end. But overall, that's it. Um, we're going to take a look at the instruction manual and um, then we're going to uh, take a look at the box and wrap up this video. The instruction manual is basically everything you can get in this set. It's pretty cool. Um, the pages end on page, uh, what page? Uh, page 71. Once again, shadows run through the whole thing. It's pretty cool. Um, but anyway, on the final page, it shows the two sets that you get in this wave and all of the other Sonic sets that you get, which hopefully we get some more this year. It's pretty cool. It's very likely we're going to get more. Anyway, that's it for Shadow. I said that's it for Shadow. That's it for the instructions. Here's the box. Very simple box. You have the Rhino bot at the top that. Um, Shadow showing the actual 
um, size of the minifigure, which is really cool. And then on the back, it shows how you can battle this and stuff, and you can get this down and everything. Looks great. Looks awesome. Anyway, it's a box. All right, overall, how is this set? So, um, there's a lot of really good things about this set. Um, I think it's probably... I don't think it's... I don't, I don't really know. It's really good. I think it's awesome. Um, I definitely think it's worth the $20. And I definitely think if you're a Sonic fan, you should pick this up. But I do believe that if you're a Sonic Sonic fan, like you like Sonic, I don't think you should pick this up. Like, if you like Sonic. But if you like Shadow, and you like Sonic and Shadow and stuff like that, I definitely think you should pick this up. Okay, I think this is probably one of the most worth it ones. Because... You get his bike, you get these brand new, um, the Badniks, and you get these brand new Flickies as well in here. And then you also get this awesome little kind of side build as well that you could maybe use in a mock or something, make it bigger or something. If you got maybe bought more of these sets, you'd probably be able to make more containment units, which would be very cool. This just is a very worth it set. Um, I think this is really awesome. I really like almost everything about this. I think it's a great set. And I just think... It's really good, and I really definitely think that you guys should definitely pick up this set. So, overall, is it my favorites? Yes and no. Um, I'm a big Sonic and Tails fan. I also love Shadow, so it's one of the above. But if you wanted to pick up two sets, once again, the Tails set and this set would probably be the best. Because they're probably the best. But if you're like an Eggman fan too, you pick up the Death Egg Robot. The big set though, if you're a huge Sonic fan, you pick that up. But who knows? We haven't really gone on to the final set, which is of course going to be the Knuckles, which is going to be the next video, which... Oh man, I can't believe this series is already coming to an end. Anyway, um, we'll probably be back later in the future, maybe fall. Um, but anyway, that is it for Shadow's Escape. Tell me, tell me what you guys think down below. I think this is a really good set. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys in the final Sonic the Hedgehog set review. See you guys.